Welcome to 10 P.O.P. What's up, guys? In this one, I am rolling with Alex. Three, two, one, go! All right, so that was just kind of spontaneous. We just ran to each other. Now, Alex, he is working on his butterfly. He has been coming to class six days a week, and he has been, uh, his defense has been vastly improving. It's uh, getting tougher and tougher to deal with him. Now, here, usually what I would do is I would try to go to the side, but this time I just decided to grab both wrists. He is getting uh, really good at pulling you up and under him, and so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. I'm trying to get that head control, and he pulls on both arms. I was able to scuttle out to the side. When I wrestle with Mark, Mark the brown belt here, he always jumps out the side and butterfly. I don't quite jump out to the side like he does, but I do get the concept, and sometimes that's all you need. So here I'm going for the mount and I am going to start working on trying to, uh oh, he's pushing up, get under that arm, I'm trying to get under that arm, the elbow part. Now I was talking to, to uh, who was I talking to? I was talking to uh, Peter, sorry about that. I was talking to Peter earlier today and he was uh, discussing how instead of just trying to go straight up when you get that your arm under the elbow and you start to creep up that instead you should go around in a circle you should still be at the elbow but take it in a circular fashion is instead of going straight up to get that arm up there so it would be a lot easier so now i am i think i'm going for a punch choke here just trying to look for some loose space He's doing a good job of framing and keeping me uh, away from that. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, he almost kipped out of there. Oh, he did. And then uh, he was able to re recover the butterfly guard. Excellent work on his part. Have the double wrist grab there. I was trying to, to go around and grab around under his legs and trying to do a butterfly escape but he's doing a good job of holding on to me and at this point he tries to get up. I get up, I grab the head and I'm holding on to him. All right, we're doing a little bit of fighting here and fighting. He's going for the two on one. He dodges my head grab collar tie try to get as uh, quick as take down to BJJ we push on the shoulder and grab the leg now he grabs me tight and that gives me the opportunity to go for a slight hip toss I don't like to do the full toss I just do sort of the judo chop if you know you guys know Kayla Harrison where all you need to do is just insert your hip and push a little bit and it throws them over so I am on top thinking about a north south guillotine but as you guys know with 10th Planet, we go over all these warm-ups, all these moves. It is very hard to surprise anyone. It seems like at all times, people know what you are doing. So I've had, I was having so much trouble with him in this role, I said, let me go to my bread and butter technique, the case of Katami. Having a struggle to hold on to him a little bit. Now also, I was working with uh, Peter a little bit earlier today. Uh, after class today because I'm trying to refine my technique with a lot of the guys here I, I know that what's going on is uh, they are counteracting a lot of my technique especially with when I'm trying to grab the leg on the other side and squeeze them for that, that trash compactor uh, you know uh, I'll crush a good tummy I like to call it but right here you see his left arm well I, I guess you know what I'm not going to say what I'm going to do now. I'm going to wait and see if I can do it first uh, and save that for uh, an actual role. And then I'll at least, you know, at least let me get it or successfully get it once before I start talking about it. And then people start counteracting it before I can even have a chance to, to try it. <laughs> I was struggling with all my might on that one. Try harder. And he are just trying to pull us in. Ah, that's time. Thanks, guys, for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.